Good morning everyone, it's me, it's D. Um, this is Gretel. And my screen just went all white. Probably hasn't for you. There you go, that was just weird. Um, <clears throat> but this is Gretel. This is actually a real house. It was actually a dollhouse made for Hugh Comstock's wife. Uh, it was a place for her to put her um, collection of dolls. Uh, but it is a functioning house. It does have a kitchen and did have a bath does have a bathroom and a small living room and a little sleeping loft. Uh, I don't think I added the sleeping loft in here because we didn't have ladders and I couldn't fit a stairwell into such a small house. Uh, and it is a teeny house. I can't even get in there in this to actually really get good photos. Um, so this is gonna be a quick really quick tour and this was during my whole fairy tale phase where I was building a lot of houses and just going exorbitant on um, landscaping uh, and just making it just a monstrously huge um, confluence of you know the flowers and everything and color and just wah so but this is Gretel let's see if we can pull it up in our gallery and you get to watch all of this because I didn't set it up beforehand um, I know what the name is from my son's e-count I'm sorry we, we lost our internet earlier so it's been a fun day of me playing games and just recording so I'm gonna have a huge backlog of videos uh, there she is um, I have upgraded this three times as I did make it very early uh, in gameplay. Um, it's $112,000 <laughs> for such a teeny house. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Uh -huh. And it does have uh, the get-together, outdoor retreats, romantic garden stuff, cool kitchen stuff, perfect patio stuff, and the holiday celebration pack. I'm going to go ahead and showcase this. Um, and as you can see, it is real. Uh, it's a, I, well, I don't know why I called it a teeny storybook house, but it is Hugh Comstock. Hugh Comstock. And it is adorable. You can see more photos of it here if you actually want to go look at it. <clears throat> you can Google it too. There's a ton of photos. Just Google Hugh Comstock and Gretel and it will pull up let me double check that and verify before i send you people okay so hugh and you can't see this calm stock gretel uh there's also supposed to be a house called uh hansel uh, such as hansel and gretel oh i almost said that with a german accent good lord um, and the first one that pops up on Google is Fairy Tale Cottages of Hugh Comstock, Hansel and Gretel. And I almost did it again. Uh, and there they are, the photos of the house. Uh, it, it is, it's an adorable little house. And it, 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 it's, it's a little fairy tale little cottage in the woods, uh, which is again why I sort of went with that. There are photos of the gardens. If you look at those photos, you'll see what I meant why I kind of went that crazy with the garden uh, and there are pictures of the inside of the house I'm just scrolling through real quick and <laughs> at the very bottom of this page they have a map of where the houses are located on the actual streets someday I need to get over there and go look at these places um, you make a, a road trip over because I live in Arizona and I don't know when mother passes I'm gonna be moving out of Arizona the only reason why I'm still here is because she's alive and fighting cancer and I can't abandon her so but yeah it, it's one bedroom one bath <laughs> barely a living room <laughs> the kitchen's not bad but it's it's the outdoor area that I absolutely love I love how it turned out I mean it, it's adorable and you can go hunting for my hidden rabbits and there's a bunch of them I also put in um, some chickens 
I'm not going to point them all out. There are gnomes. But here we go. And it is playable. I, I did play test this. So this is basically walking into the backyard. I, I know I haven't figured out how to do the the game thing where you can actually be a person walking through it. Uh, patio barbecue area with a little pool and a little place to sit. I think that goes right up. Let's, let's actually go over and take a look. Yeah, it's four, four seats, two counters. I always, when I do an outdoor barbecue area, I always put a sink out here because it's like, you know what? Do your dishes outside. Don't turn around walk all the way into the house and do the dishes. Uh, and I did do the, the, the fencing wall with um, the flowers and not just plain greenery. I did use these hanging like lamppost type things and I hid them within the wall so they just sort of pop out of the uh, the fence so when we come back here and we got a little fire area and a pool that looks more like a little pond and I loved doing this back then I probably still do I just haven't found a house that I could do this fairy tale thing recently I, I've been stuck with island living not stuck I love island living but it's just huh, put a wedding arch here I just thought it looked pretty in this little sitting area a little gnome sitting on a rock ready to jump in I do love how this came out and then there should be another little sitting area over here. And it circles around again. Oh, circles around to the front door. There you go. And I I think this was from Get Together, the rock fence. That's one of the things I added. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a far view of the house. Side view yard romantic garden too okay so there you go and then over here you can't really see it there you go I do love I mean and it looks a lot like what the real house looks like gonna do a tour of that house I might do that one next <clears throat> well, okay let's go down one floor see and in the real house, there is a loft up on this section above the kitchen and the bathroom. Oh, why I went underground, I don't know. Okay, because I wasn't thinking. All right, so let's go in. This will get rid of the grid. I hate that. It's a very plain, yeah. I just kind of stuck with a plain little sitting area to eat. Because the Sims need that fireplace which in the real house there is a fireplace here um, I'm not quite sure what was on this side uh, so I just put the TV there with the couch on the other side and a chair a little bit of decoration this is still pretty early in the game I didn't go crazy with the clutter because there wasn't enough room for the clutter I mean it just really wasn't and it does work even though it does smash together it for some reason the characters were able to sit and eat I don't know if that's still the same now. I don't. I don't know with any of the updates or anything that has come since then if it will still work, but it did when I built it. Uh, if it doesn't, you could probably... No, that won't work. I'll just undo. Stop me like that. You could probably put a smaller counter right there. Worst case scenario, move it over there and take that one away. Yeah. But it is a cute, adorable little house. And I did fit a microwave in. And I got a counter for, you know, making the food. So, and this is the bedroom. I believe in the real house that this was a twin bed. And this room wasn't as big as this. I, I had to make it. I had to make the house a little bit bigger to fit things in. Yeah, I was like, I gotta fit a bed in here. I gotta fit a dresser. I gotta fit. Yeah, 
And there's not even a desk. Not even a desk or a computer. Uh, I wouldn't even know where to put them if I was going to put them in here. I put rocks out there? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see what I was doing. All right. So yeah, and then the bathroom. A little teeny bathroom. But yeah, it, it, it's kind of just basic. It, an expensive basic house, to be honest. Um, because I think most of the money for the house is outside in the um, in all the plants and the flowers and everything so if you've got a story or something that's going where you want a little old lady living in a house you know whatever this will work it, it's an adorable looking house or if you just want a cute adorable looking house in your neighborhood there you go because yeah, it is adorable it really is I was just thinking with all the new changes See, you can concave this in, but you can't concave this straight line here, because in the real house, it concaves. Ah, I wish it would, but... Well, that's Gretel. Uh, we already looked at it once, so you can see what it looks like in the... Of course, now i got to go find it again. Gretel. G-R-E-T-E-L. Gretel. And like I said, there are a couple of versions of it. So if you do go to the gallery and do the search for Gretel, I know there's other people who've done it. Actually, I think there's a bunch of people who've done it. I think there's people who made it larger. And it just doesn't look right, really big. Oh, don't tell me the internet's going out again. Ugh. No, it says it's not. But it's being weird. It really is. Hansel hey. Gretel. Here, yeah, see. Um, I, don't, I haven't run across. Somebody else had done a version. There you go. Hansel Gretel Storybrook. Storybrook? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's just Mark. No, why did I do that? I wanted to do lots. Okay. So there's one that's similar. I see there are people who have gone crazy. Another one that's similar. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel. And I'm doing that again. Oh, that's adorable how they did the little whoop. Lena 3, that's adorable. I like what you did with the roof. Um, there's another Hansel and Gretel. Another one. Eh, that one's it's reversed, but that works. Seems to be a common theme. There I am. Yay. That's adorable. I think. Yep, and there's. There they are. So you got the original. And then the point two. And then the point three. That's just because I love this house so much that I had so much fun with it. But there you go. That's Gretel. And if you made it this long, congratulations! Um, but yeah, if you like the videos, hit the like button. Uh, comment if you want. I appreciate the comments. And then uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And hit the bell too if you're going to subscribe. You might as well hit the bell. I mean, why subscribe? Well, I mean... You don't necessarily have to hit the bells. The description show up in your subscription bar thing. But you know the routine. But I will see you in the next video. You guys have a great day.